Hey guys, Karen New Rose speaking. Come right on in, come right on in. Um, I know I have been, you know, I have been really doing my um my talk videos, but I have been doing my reaction videos. I want y'all to go check those out. And today we're gonna be talking about, well, as you guys can see from the caption of this video, it's called "Black Men We Need to Talk." Um. Like I said, um, I love y'all. Thank y'all the best. Um, I love black women as well. I thank y'all the best as well. And I've been supposed to do this video, but I have been running behind a little bit. But I'm gonna jump right on into it. You know, I remember uh, I seen the video of Indian Red getting killed in a car. You know, rest in peace to him, even though they were disrespect the Nipsey Hustle, you know, rest in peace to my dude Nipsey Hustle. I got the Nipsey Hustle shirt right here, you know, represent. <clears throat> but um yeah. I wanted to talk about that because I'm gonna be honest with y'all black men. Like I said I love y'all not trying to attack y'all but I'm gonna be real. I feel that you guys are so quick to fight and kill someone who is a reflection of you. But y'all don't have that same energy towards white supremacists. I feel like that is a major issue. Major problem in our community. I feel like y'all are our, you know, soldiers. You guys are our warriors. We really don't need y'all out here killing each other. No. You know, I feel like a lot of y'all are out here dying over nonsense. But a lot of y'all could be fighting against white supremacy and die for something, die with honor, you know, die for something good. Another thing, I'm gonna be very honest, I feel like a lot of black men get little buoyed by rich white men in suits. And let me tell you something, stop being intimidated by them. Stop, you know, fuck them, they weak. Let's be real, they're weak. We as an economic group have to support one another and help help each other dominate in the form of wealth. Because I, I don't feel I'm tired of, of always asking motherfuckers for so we so we won't have to ask motherfuckers for reparations. So we won't have to keep supporting other groups while they come in our community and make money off of us. We could be supporting one another. You know, and rise to the top and take over this bitch. So, another thing, black man, I'm just being very honest with y'all. Um, I feel that a lot of you guys do not eat healthy. I feel, you know, a lot of you guys are not disciplined how you guys used to be. You guys gotta eat healthy. Like I said, y'all are soldiers. Y'all are, you know, warriors. You can't go to war with high blood pressure and diabetes and shit with your feet swelling and everything. We need y'all to be ready. And what I mean by discipline is that, I'm gonna be real with you, I might not agree with religion and everything, but one thing I can say about the Muslim men, like take Rizla, for instance, you know, he's well disciplined, you know, he, he dresses nice, he keeps himself up, you know, he eats right, you know, he's for his people, he ready to go to war, you know, any time in the day. Another thing is, I'm gonna be honest, Another thing, like I said, I always tell black women to respect your men and submit to your men. But let's be real, y'all got to give us, you got to give us something to submit to. You know, a lot of a lot of y'all, you know, don't really respect us anymore. Um, a lot of you guys are not assertive anymore. You know, a lot of you guys don't lead anymore. You know, a woman love when she can just sit back and you know let her man take charge she ain't gotta worry about nothing bills anything she can just sit back and relax and another thing black women you know because i'm gonna be real with you we we have to learn how to let y'all lead as well because we're hard-headed we're so used to being masculine we're so used to leading all the time you know we're so used to being on the go you know we so used to trying to be Miss Independent, but sometimes we do we do need a strong man that can just take charge and do what he got to do as a man and take care of us. You know, a woman love a man that can lead. 
and teach. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Um, if you look into the white community, if you look into the Asian, the Arab community, Chinese, um, any other race community, most of the time their men lead heavy, strong. You know, I'm not saying you guys are not leaders. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of y'all got to get better with leading and being a man and, you know, making better decisions for yourselves and for your family. Another thing, another thing I'm going to get on is, this is for my generation, this is for the generation that's younger than us. I don't, I hate how a lot of y'all disrespect the dead. And I'm going to get into the rappers. Most of the times when you disrespect the dead, it comes back around and it hunch, it gets you, you know? Like my man DJ Quick said, he said this in his song. He said, some don't recognize the power of lyrics. Cause when you talk about that, you talk in the spirits. You see, you can say the things that can help us all wrong, or you can say things that make it back for a song. And what I'm trying to say is, he was telling the truth because a lot of them are, you know, disrespecting their dead enemies. Be really look look at FBG Duck. It came back around and got him because he was disrespecting his dead. But they, I, you know, but I don't really know that whole situation. I'm just being, I'm just saying. Look at King Von talking about smoking on Tuka. When it when Tuka's mom been begging and crying and asking y'all to stop disrespecting her son and y'all continue to do it so another thing like I said I'm gonna get back to what DJ Quick said because he said the truth a lot of times when you hear these rappers they're talking about debt 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 promoting debt 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 that's all you hear I'm gonna kill this nigga I'm gonna do this to this nigga I'm gonna rob this nigga and it's like this a lot of y'all don't, especially when it comes to black, a lot of y'all don't understand the power of words. Because when you rap about it a lot, so many times that's all you hear, that, 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 you're manifesting it into life. You're going to make it come true. And another thing, and uh, you know, I'm gonna be real with you. A lot of those record companies, they know that. That why, that's why they push it. They know that. Your words are very powerful. And I want to get into how in 2019, all these, all those rappers passed away. All of them. So you mean to tell me in twenty? Because there was so many rappers that passed away in 2019. So you mean to tell me all them niggas that went to the, you know, they went to the hospital. Not one doctor, not one nurse saved, at least not one of them. Nine times out of ten, you work dead than alive. Because when you're not an independent artist and you're signed to a record label, When you die, you work, you know, you worked a whole lot of money because they don't have to cut you a check. You're dead. They getting all your money while your family left out in the cold. Fucked up. I know. Fucked up world we live in. It's ridiculous. But another thing I want to touch on is that your daughters are watching you. Your sons are watching you. Monkey see, monkey do. That's all I'm gonna have to say. Because a lot, I know a lot of y'all don't be talking about, well, I don't wanna be, you know, I don't want kids looking up to me, but you're in the spotlight. You gotta, you know, that's up to the, a lot of y'all be saying that's up to the parents to talk to their kids. No, you gotta understand there's a lot of kids out here who don't have parents. So therefore, when they turn on the TV or they turn on social media, media they looking at you. You know, our sons, our daughters, nieces, kids, hell, kids we don't know, kids in our community, they looking up at us. Especially when you're a rapper, 
be a female rapper, you know, actor, whatever you want to do, whatever you do for a living. They're looking at you because, like I said, some of these kids don't have parents. Some of their parents work too much. And when we do fucked up shit, like I said, monkey see, monkey do. They go right behind us and do it. Even that brings me to the last generation before us, you know, the older generation. They talk about how fucked up we are and how crazy we are, but we sit back and we watch y'all be crazy. Instead of saying, you know what, we failed. We failed that last generation. They just all, oh, I don't, what's wrong with these kids? They just ridiculous. No, motherfucker, failed leadership. You failed. But, um... What I want to say is that we need to practice on more positive messages in the music, promoting more businesses, um, definitely um, loving one another, respecting one another. You know, we got to get back to that, you know, to that old love we used to have for each other because, you know, we're, we're crazy right now against one another, you know, but, um, Multiply, divide, subscribe, <laughs> and, y you know, y'all have a good day today, you know, that's all I have to say for right now.